On the 10th of January this year, the world was stunned and shaken by the news that David Bowie had suddenly passed away. I suspect that everyone is still trying to process this sadly unexpected event. Even if they didn't know him personally, many people must feel as if things will never be quite the same again. He had that special kind of significance. For me, it's almost impossible to mention Bowie's name in the past tense. Everything he represented as an artist was and always will be vital and incredibly present. As a cutting edge artistic genius, he continues to live on through his music. <sighs> David Bowie is deeply embedded in the heart of British culture as a fixture within our collective inner psyche, influencing every decade from the moment he first appeared on the airwaves with Space Oddity in 1969, right up to the present day. Like the miraculous moon landing that inspired the song, he drew us away from our suburban lives, expanding our horizons, turning everything on its head into gloriously subversive technicolor. As an innovative writer, performer, and rock star, there was no one and nothing else like him. He was truly unique. Essential, visionary, pushing the limits of his shape shifting persona, the ultimate iconoclast, gracious, dangerous, and legendary. The legacy of his extraordinary sound and vision will be loved and revered for as long as the earth still spins. The Brits Icon Award is only presented to unparalleled artists whose writing, recording, and performance set them apart as having made a lasting impact on the nation's culture, recognizing the very highest level of British music achievement. To accept the award, I'd now like to invite David's dear friend, Gary Oldman, to the stage. We are all coming to terms with the magnitude of David's passing. The Jones family lost a husband and a father. Those closest to David lost a dear friend. And the world lost a man, an artist of transcendent talent. As Annie so gracefully said, David's contribution, his influence on popular music, on culture itself, has no equal. He was the very definition, the living embodiment of that singular word, icon. And I am... I am so deeply touched and honored to be here tonight to accept this award for David and his family. 
In recent years, David sparingly spoke about music and his process, but in one of these rare instances, he graciously and eloquently expounded. Music has given me over 40 years of extraordinary experiences. I can't say that life's pains or more tragic episodes have been diminished because of it, but it has allowed me so many moments of companionship when I have been lonely and a sublime means of communication when I have wanted to touch people. It has been both my doorway of perception and the house that I live in. Over his career, David challenged and changed our understanding of the medium, whether in music or in life, he emphasized originality, experimentation, exploration, and in his very unique way, he also reminded us to never take ourselves too seriously. <laughs> David, David was funny. He was funny, hilariously so, and the laughs were many and massive, and, and I shall miss them. A related story, a few years ago we were standing on a street corner and he was approached uh, by this big fella, rocker type, uh, long hair, you know, leather clad, and he offered up this piece of paper for David's autograph. David signed the piece of paper and as the fellow walked away, he turned to me and he said, well, he's going to be disappointed. I said, why? He said, because I just signed it, Gary Oldman. His, his outlook was always positive, and I never once heard him complain. I can share with you that David faced his illness with enormous courage, dignity, grace, and customary humor. <laughs> even, even in dire circumstances, when he wrote to tell me the bad news that he had cancer, he added, the good news is I've got my cheekbones back. <laughs> he was the sweetest soul ever with the best cheekbones until it was done. David, you were mortal, but your potential was superhuman and your remarkable music is living on. We love you and we thank you.